first band, tips, tricks, and lesson learned the hard way for artists starting out. Today's subject is going to be practice. Now, you have your bandmates together, um, they know their stuff, they're ready to rock, but what you don't want to do in this situation is jump directly into shows. Practice is very important. In Malcolm Gladwell's book, Outliers, he talked about how the Beatles practiced slash played together about 10,000 hours before they got big. Um, Jeff Buckley really got his start. He played in clubs for years, you know, just playing just to like nobody before he got big. And that's pretty much how every band is. You have your, you have your exceptions, but that's pretty much how every band is. Now, three questions I'm going to answer today is how long should you practice before your first show? What should your practices look like? And <laughs> tips for practice. How long should you practice before your first show? I was reading an interview with the band Brother UK, which has recently gotten pretty big in um, the UK. Uh, and they had a very unique view on this. They practiced for a year, didn't play any shows, didn't really put anything out. Um, just practiced for a year before they did anything. Now, while that's a little bit extreme, there is a lot to be said in that. You really want to practice as much as you possibly can before you play a show. Um, you don't want to, you don't want to, you know, practice so long that that's all your band ever does. But you definitely want to practice as much as you can. It really, it's good to be as tight as possible before you play a show. Because if you're tight, even if you know you're not that talented of a group, if you play together well and tight, and you know, people aren't just messing up in the middle of a song then people will remember you. You could be a band that's not exceptionally talented but tight, and you'd be better than a band that's really talented but just super sloppy while they play. So really, practice as much as possible. I would say practice about three months. That's a good time to get down a decent three-song set, which is what you'll typically be playing when you start out. Um, now on to how long should each practice last, and what should a practice look like. Practices should have goals. Um, they should be really efficient. If you're having to practice over two hours, unless you have a huge gig coming up, like you're playing Wembley or something, I really don't think you're going to get that much done. In my experiences, um, my band's gotten into where we can pretty much practice for an hour uh, and get the set down, you know, and just really focus on two songs and practice, and that's way more efficient than having to go through and just keep running over eight songs for an hour, four hours, because you're going to get exhausted, you're going to make mistakes, and your ears... Um, in studios, when people record, uh, they like to come back to mixes a day later because your ears will get acclimated, and you know you'll start to think like after four hours, like yeah, we're starting to sound good. But typically, you're not. You're just you're so used to hearing it, you know, or your ears are shot, depending on how loud your band is, that really, um, you know, you're not getting better. You're just getting more used to what you're hearing. So I would say practice for two hours. Um, and for tips for having practice, like I said last time, have goals. That's very big. Before practice, really say like, hey guys, today we're going to work on this cover or we're going to try to write. And I know writing is really something that typically happens impromptu, but just say like, hey guys, let's just jam. You know, that can be a goal. You don't have to like have like A, B, C, and D. Just, you know, have a plan. That's important in a lot of things in music and it really gets under undervalued. Have a plan. Um, also record yourself. That's huge, because there's nothing worse than practicing, thinking you sound great, than playing a gig and realizing, oh my gosh, I'm out of tune here, or oh my gosh, our drummer is offbeat here, or wow, this song doesn't sound as good as it sounds. Um, really, you want to record your practices, because you can nitpick what's going wrong, it, you know, you can hear what sounds good. And it's also great for songwriting. Like if you had a jam, everyone's had that one jam that was just like, wow, that was incredible, but they didn't record it. As a songwriter, I can tell you that's the most frustrating thing ever, when you don't record a crazy jam session. So really set goals and record your practices. Um, have a plan. And yeah. So to recap, practice as much as possible before you play a show. Um, have a plan. Don't have too long of a practice. Record your practices. And have fun. And everything in music, you're typically doing it because you're having fun. You know? So, just 
This is Ben Saunders from My First Band. Hope you guys like the videos. Subscribe, check out the Facebook. Craig you later.